hello there welcome back to the resource campus in today's video we're going to be talking about affiliate marketing so i'm going to show you how you can promote your affiliate product so in this case we're going to be using this movie spider-man no way home and um, as you can see this is the landing page of the movie i embedded a an official trailer the video uh, a video which is the ofi official trailer of the movie so when someone clicks my link it's going to direct them to this landing page and they can just view it so the purpose of the landing page is to actually make the product more attractive to the customer so um i'm going to show you how you can design a landing page like this for free as you can see there's also a call to action you can see the price the call to action buyer and i also created like a small plot summary of the movie and i added uh, some of the cast of the movie tom holland toby Maguire, andrew garfield and zendaya and just at the bottom you can also see a call to action buy here and you can see the price so when someone clicks buy here it's going to direct them to amazon and this is where they can buy the product and once they buy the product I'm going to get a commission of the sale so that is basically how affiliate marketing works now you can use any product of your choice depending on what niche you are in so um, in my case I'm using entertainment I'm in the entertainment niche so I decided to use a movie as my affiliate product you can use anyone if you are into um, maybe um, fashion then you can look for a fashion product Amazon is a huge marketplace so you can find any products of your choice and you promote the same way all you need to do is create a landing page of that product is the same format you can just um, add images of your products and videos if there is any and you can promote the product now we're going to be using Pinterest to market our product um, Pinterest is literally one of the most used platforms out there. It gets over 400 million monthly active users worldwide and most of the users are from the US. So Pinterest is literally one of the best platforms to use for your marketing if you are going to be targeting in US clients. So we're going to be using this platform to promote our product. Okay, so these are the steps we're going to be following. So the first step is for you to sign up to the Amazon Associate Program. It's totally free to join the program. Um, you just go to Google, type in Amazon Associate Program and you can join the affiliate program from there. So you just need to sign up with your email address and you follow the necessary steps. So the next one is to find a product to promote in your niche. Now, once you have joined the Amazon uh, affiliate program then you can go up to amazon it's a huge marketplace so just find any products in your niche now in this case we're going to be using a movie as our affiliate product once you find the products uh, that you like to promote then the next step is to create a landing page for that product we're going to be using google sites to create a landing page now google sites is a free website builder it's actually hosted or owned by Google itself. So it's pretty much beginner friendly. Uh, there's no coding involved to create a website. It just have a drag and drop feature and that is it. So it's totally easy to use Google sites to create a landing page for your products. The next step is to use freenom.com to get a custom domain name for your landing page. So this is going to be a separate tutorial video so i'm not going to show you how to do that right now in this video step number five is to create pinterest graphics using canva so once we have created landing page for our product then the next step is to create a pinterest graphic using canva then the next step is to upload our pin after i've created our pin on can using canva then we were going to upload it on pinterest then that is all so that is what we're going to be doing right now now to um, create a landing page go up to google and type in google sites and then click the first link you see 
um, sites.google.com. Now, once it's done loading, just click the plus sign to create a blank site. So we're going to start from scratch. It's going to lead you right here. So the what you're going to do is just click on this um, text and delete it. Now you're going to see this little box uh, on your left, right down here. Click header type and then choose um, cover. So we need our um, image to cover the entire almost half almost half of the page so next click change image to change the header image click there and then click select image okay so it's going to lead you here so click by url so this is where we're going to paste the link of an image so we're just going to go to google and then type in spider-man no way home and then go to click on images and then just scroll down and choose the image just look for the image that you like and then click on it next just right click on it and click copy image address and then go back to google sites and then paste the link of the image right here and after it's done loading yes okay then click select the blue great so as you can see the little star shows that it's still loading so adjusting for visibility great so once it's done loading you're going to see the image like this so it's still dark so just click on that same star and sprite okay next we need a layout so go to the layout uh, on your right and choose a layout so we'll choose this one now we're going to add another image so do the same click on the plus sign go to select image and then we're going to go again by url and we're going to choose an image again from um, google so just scroll and then choose the image that you like um, then right click again and click copy image address then go back again to google sites and paste the link of the image right here great so once it's done loading click insert image and the image is going to be inserted yeah so that is how you do it so it's just going to do the same for the two um, image options right there okay so it's coming together so just go and check okay great so the next we're going to um, look for another layout now in this case we're going to be adding a movie trailer so I'm going to be adding a video like this, as you can see from the landing page I showed you. So what you do is just scroll down on your left. You're going to see YouTube. So just scroll down and this is the YouTube right here. So click on it and it leads you here. So just type in what you want. In this case, I'll type in Spider-Man No Way Home and then click the search bar. And immediately, so this is the, the trailer of the movie. So just click on it and click select and the movie is going to appear right here so that is it so all you have to do is just drag it and adjust it to how you like it to um to be on your landing page so that is how you add a movie or a video or youtube video to google sites okay the next step is to add this um this layout so as you can see this is the image and there's a price and a call to action so what you do is just go back again to layout so just scroll back up and you're going to see this layout say the image and text layout so that's what we want um next we're going to go back to amazon so this is the amazon affiliate product um then just copy the pricing right here so just going to copy it carefully great and then we'll go back to google sites and paste it in here great so all you have to do now is just edit it as you can see i'm going to delete this one So just adjust it and 
increase the size increase the uh, if you like change the fonts i'm just going to do that quickly Okay, so the next step is to add image. So we're going to go back to Amazon. We're going to get this image right here, um, the image of the product. So this is it. So go click, go on the top. You're going to see image. So click there and um, you can choose the size of the image you want. So we're going to be um, choosing um, large and this is the HTML code that we need. So just copy that code from there and then go back again to uh, google sites now as you can see there's no way we can add the html html code there so what we need now is this option embed so click on need and then click on embed code then you paste the html code you just copied from amazon so just paste it right here Great. So that's the HTML code for the large image. Great. Now, as you can see, that is it. Then you click insert. So this is the image right here. Okay, next to adjust this image and bring it up here, click on this box and just delete it. And then carry this one up here. Just drag it and place it there and that is it so this is our image and our text so it's the same like this so the next is to add a call to action by year so what we're going to do is to add a button so just scroll down and you're going to see button so click on it and this is where you can just type in the name of the button you can type in by year and this is where we're going to put the link of the um, call to action so go back to amazon on the top go to text now once you join affiliate the affiliate program you're going to be able to do this so click and copy the link and then go back to google site and paste the link right here so that is your affiliate link click insert so as you can see this is it right here so just drag adjust it and carry it up here and Voila, so we have our call to action. So that is all. So when someone clicks buy here, it's going to direct them to the link or to the products in Amazon, to, to Amazon, where they can buy the products. Next is to put a stroke on this price. So just highlight it and go to the top, the three dots, click there, and you're going to see this option and just click on it. And that is all. So that is how you do that. Okay, the next option is to add this um, this background image and the text in front. So go back and then scroll back up and just click on text box. Great, so this appears. So next what you do is just um, go to your right and click on this icon, um, this icon right here. Great. And go to image, click select image or you can upload an image from your laptop so but i like to just get the image from um, google so click by url and we're going to do the same thing so just copy the image from google choose the image from google and then go back and paste the link of that image or the address of the image and that is it okay so all you need to do is just Put your cursor in there and click to add a text so as you can see i'm just going to copy this one i don't want to type just copy it and i'm going to go back and paste the text right here so as you can see we have our background image and we have our text in front so the next is this plot summary and the image right here now, because the image is from um, Amazon, we're going to be embedding the code right here. So click on embed and go to embed code and then go back to Amazon, go to 
texts and image and this you're going to see the image right here so just copy the the HTML code and then go back again to Google Sites and then paste the code right here then click next it's loading so once it's done loading click insert so that is the image next is to add the text so just click on text box and then i'm going to add a plot summary so how i got the plot summary i just went to google and i typed in um, spider-man no way home plot summary and i got i just copied it from google and i pasted it so that is how i got the plot summary next is to just drag it and place it near the image and then just customize the text you can change the uh, font size change the um the boldness italize it underline it do whatever you want to do right here so you can just adjust it how you like it okay so i've already adjusted everything and it's looking okay so i'm just going to leave it like this so the next step is to add the cast the images of our cast so go back to your layout and we're going to be using this layout so it gives us the option to add four different images so click on the plus sign and choose select image now we're not going to be uh, using by url in this case we're going to be using google image search so i'm going to take the image directly from google so just click on the on the search bar and then type in the name of the um of the cast so we're going to type top from Holland and it's going to display some search results what you have to do now just choose the image click on the image and then click insert and it's going to be inserted in here now to adjust it what you do is just um, double click on the image and then just drag and adjust it to fit the box and then click the tick and that is it so just do the same for the other images just type go to google search type the name of the cast the name of the person you want and insert the image right here okay so once that is done next we're going to click and then type in the name of our cast i'm going to type tom holland so i'm just going to quickly do that for the rest of the cast and then get back to the video Okay, so once that is done, so the next step is to add our price at the bottom. So we're going to go back, just scroll back up, and this is what we're going to be adding. So we're going to duplicate this entire section. Go to your left and click the duplicate icon, and it's duplicated. So the next step is to just drag it and bring it down. So go again to your left. You're going to see this little dots um, option right here. Just from there, just drag and place it on the uh, image so where the blue line you see the blue line just leave it there okay next is to add footer so just click add footer at the bottom and you can add um, add any text or anything any footer maybe an image or probably just a text in this case i'm going to add a text so i just type spider-man no way home so you can just customize it, bold it, italize it, change the font, change the size, and you can even insert a link, anything you want to do. So that is basically how you can add it. You can also change the background of the um, section. Just click on this icon and you just click any style. And as you can see, the background of that section has been changed. So that is how you can change the background color. Next, you can add the title or give a name to your landing page right here. So just click, as you can see, I've already um, added the name to so Movies Lover. So you can just type in the name or the title that you want. And you can also add a logo. So you can just click Add Logo and you can upload a logo from your laptop or even select from Google itself. So you can also preview it once you're done. Click here on Preview and you can just check your landing page and see how it looks before you can publish okay so once you're okay with it you can just click the publish option 
So the next step is to create a Pinterest graphic. So we're going to be using Canva. So go to Canva at the search bar type Pinterest pin and choose Pinterest pin right here. And it's going to show you some different templates that you can use. So there are some that you need to pay or buy, but there are others which are free. So we're going to choose any of the free graphic uh, template and then edit it to how we want our um, pin to look like. So we're going to be editing this particular pin. Now to change the background image, go to upload on your left and click, you can click on upload media and then get the image from your laptop. You can just choose the image and then click open and it's going to be inserted right here. So as you can see, I've already inserted the image that I want to use um, as my background image. So just drag it and as you drag, you're going to see how it changes this image. So just carefully drag and adjust it right here you can zoom it by coming here just click on zoom and after it's done uh downloading you can just double click on it and adjust it how you want it to look like so just double click on the image and then drag and adjust it how you want it to look like so the next step is to change the text so you can edit the text on canva you can write whatever you want and you can add elements on your graphic you can add anything you want so it depends on you so once you're satisfied with your graphic you can preview it by clicking here and if it's okay by you then you can just download it and save it in your laptop okay so save it go on the top where you see share click on there and then click download so you'll be able to download it so the next step is to go to Pinterest and upload the pin. So click on create pin right here. Okay, now this is where you're going to add your image. So to add the image, just click on this option, click on the arrow and then click the uh, image, choose the image and click open. And it's going to be inserted right here. So it's just going to fit it right here. So the next step is to add the title of your of your pin. So we're just going to type in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, before you type in the title of your pin or to add any description, I will highly recommend you do your keyword research first. So, to, so as to know what people are typing on Google when they are searching for this particular movie. So it's going to help your your pin rank so that once they type in what they are looking for they are going to easily see your own image or your pin and they can click and then eventually go and buy on on amazon so that is what you need to do so make sure you do your keyword research at your description now the next step is to add your link so we're going to go back and go to make sure you publish it so i've already published it so that's why i'm clicking here to go to um view publish site and this is where you're going to copy the link so just copy the link right here and then go back to pinterest and then paste the link here okay next is to add your description so i'm not going to add any description here but it's very important you do your keyword research and then add your description so next click on publish and your pin is going to be published on your profile so you can just go to your profile so i'm going to go to my profile and scroll down and you're going to see the pin we've just created so that is it right here just click on it and you can see it right here so when you scroll down again you're going to see other pins um of the spider-man no way home movie so that is why it's very important you do your keyword research because it's going to help your pin rank so that when someone comes to pinterest and type in spider-man no way home movie they are most likely going to see your pin so it's going to appear at the top and they can click it and go to your landing page now this is a this is a link so just click on it and you're going to see once they click on your pin it's going to take them to this landing page now once they get to your landing page and click on the buy option it's going to take them to amazon where they can buy the products and then you can get a percentage commission now that is basically how you can set up a passive income stream online with affiliate marketing 
and just like i said you can use any product so it depends on your niche you can choose any product on amazon and you promote it and when you make a sale you're going to get a commission so you can still promote your affiliate products using facebook or any other social media channels okay guys so that is it for today thank you for watching the video and please do not forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button down below if this video was helpful in any way and also turn on notification bell so that youtube will be able to notify you when i upload any of such videos thank you again for watching and see you next time